previously on Final Fantasy 16. Ah, that means salt. Oh, they're trying to force her to be Shiva. That's not fine. Gel. It's like when you have a fart but you can't get it out. Ah, ah, ah. Wait, Clive, why are you naked? Clive. Are you making no birds returning this year? The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. I think I knew who that is. <laughs> He must be stopped. Oh my gosh, he's so burnt up. He... He's alive? Hello, I'm back. Me, my dog, and my wife. We're taking the dog out for a walk. Wow, this is happy families. Oh, we can see Jill in combat. Go on, Jill. Get, get, get it, get it, Jill. Yes, queen! <laughs> Toggle, what the f? <laughs> he just came out of nowhere! These aren't our enemies. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is cute. Hello, sir? I wonder if Martha is as friendly as Gav claims. Mm. Let's go and find out, shall we? Yeah. Do it. Why is he giving me the side eye? Look, I know he's hot! Take a picture, it lasts longer, okay? God. <laughs> oh! Oh, stop! This is gonna make me cry! Is this a nine reference? Is it Vivi? Oh, that got me. This game is cute. I love it. <laughs> Chickens. Oh, there's a chicken missing! Oh, there's a chicken missing. Let me find that. Chicken! I see it! I see it with my eyeballs. Go back. Go back. Where's the little girl? I found the chicken. Okay, anyway. If it weren't for that mark, I'd be on you like a rash. Sword from its scabbard in days. Come on, come inside. <laughs> I'll be happy to show you how well I wield my blade <laughs> after my shift's over. <laughs> okay. Okay. Have an okay. Excuse me. Would you happen to be the landlady? Oh, she's so polite. Depends who's asking, and why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rosaria. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. Yes. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Gav said he might be able to help us. Follow me. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. <laughs> he said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect Aww. that's you. He's talking about so, him. <laughs> where is it you're headed? Bestie squad. The Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. <gasps> no! I'm not killing it. Are you gonna hurt me? You're not gonna hurt me. Toggle! Oh my god, he's covered in blood. This is not good. Oh my god, I took my dog. I, <laughs> I took my dog out for a walk and he's. Oh no, he's killing the wildlife. Oh my god, no! It's pogging! Don't anger her. She's scary. Jill versus the choke. 
Chocobo. He's gonna win. Clive's just watching as his girlfriend's fighting a f***ing Chocobo. <laughs> One more hit and it's over. Oh, 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 she took that to the face. Do you see this with your eyeballs? They are enemies. Jill versus Chocobo. Hey, girl. Oh. <laughs> it's just face down, ass up. Why? What if this was a rare species, Jill? Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you? We came to offer a donation. From Martha? <sighs> I see. Then please, follow me. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can, for the time they have left. Oh, oh my god, what? They look, the curse they look taken solid. Them. Oh god. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing some... either Martha or I can do to change that. Super soft. But we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. Ha ha ha, bearer, but... <laughs> Unintentional joke. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should. I need to pet my dog. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People are dying. God. <gasps> Sid. Sid. He's here. Ah, oh, Clive. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I'm gonna. Oh, dear, I'm yeah. gonna uninstall the game. With a thousand little lightning bolts. I'm Can't not. Can't around the way I used to. I'm not okay. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. No. Thank you, Sid, for everything. <laughs> If you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. <laughs> Sid! Oh, goops! <laughs> oh. Get his ass, goops. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Except that, and you may yet escape your fate. <laughs> my fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. <laughs> you might not be able to save anyone else, but at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> Jill. Look after him, maybe? I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, <laughs> but I trust she'll take good care of the boy. <laughs> Yes, Aww. I will. <laughs> Is that the last of it? <laughs> Aye. We best so head back cute. then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. Yes, sir. Ta da, then. Ta da. Eastpool. We made it to Eastpool. Quiet, isn't it? Yes. Yes. You, you're Clive Rossfield. Oh. <gasps> it's me, Hannah. 
Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Anna. <coughs> oh. Oh. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill, too. It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> it's good to see you, too, Lady Hannah. If you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. Oh, that's awful. We should be delighted. That's so sweet. Oh. A familiar face. Oh. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh. To take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, wasn't easy, but we survived and. And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. It's <laughs> like a sweet reunion, gosh. Do you think you will stay here, in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Hmm. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Oh. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. The trigger word. Oh, forgive me. I, I didn't mean to. Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Oh. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Is a very loud plane. Ah. You haven't heard then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. Yeah, he went up in flames. Oh. I. I'm sorry. Oh. Clive. My poor child, you look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm? I just don't think my heart can break anymore and then it does. It keeps breaking for him. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Oh. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, 
Then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. Trauma bonding. I'm sorry. Do you remember that night on the balcony, when we looked up at the moon? Oh no. <laughs> I said a prayer to Metia, and that prayer was answered. <gasps> you came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. Oh. Clive. Clive. Clive, she... Oh. <laughs> we should get some rest. Right. No. God damn it. <laughs> Good night, Clive. Good night, Clive. Sleep well. Okay. Okay. Oh, hi, Tongo. Thank you, Lady <gasps> Anna. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. Drip! You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. Elwyn had the booba outfit? How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? <laughs> oh, before Elwyn became Archduke. Our families oh. would often summer together. He and Rodney oh, were like so brothers. Good. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Damn. Well, I'm very grateful for them. Damn. And sorry it's... for depriving you of your memories. It, not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. Yeah, to absolutely slow in that outfit, Clive. Hell yeah. Look at the waist. Why? This is the way you go. Well. <laughs> Everyone, hydrate. Thank you, Lady Hannah. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you, Lady You've Hannah. You've been most kind. Yes. It may only have been for a short while, but seeing you again took me back to happier times. Oh. Fare you well. My lord and lady. Oh my god, this is so cool! If we cool. follow the road to the north, it should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. This is the outfit I base my cosplay on. Yeah, my terrible cosplay. If you guys don't know, I'm friends with Ben, who voices Clive, and we went to, well, a lot of us went to the Final Fantasy Crystal Ball uh, Slay Station Drag Night, and he forced me on stage for the cosplay competition as Clive. And I was like, it's so bad, don't make me go on there. <laughs> He made me do it! Compare, compare that, what I'm wearing, to this. <laughs> I tried! I tried! Yeah, this looks like we it would- We won't be able to use any magic here. Really? Another thing to worry about. As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take oh. away the last life force, and problems are all that's left. The f The game won't jump scare me. Um, I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like before the blight took it. No jump scares, smiles. Final Fantasy 15 is a horror game, and I'll have no one tell me otherwise. That wasn't there. <laughs> there it is. Phoenix Gate. Where it all went wrong. Hmm. 
Come on, Clive. Yes, Jill. It's time to discover the truth. God. Oh, what a gentleman. <laughs> it's almost as if time had stood still. Sorry, that hurt. Ow. Let's have a look around. What is it, Toggle? Clive. <laughs> oh, Pop. Oh. That's him. This is too set up. He's the only one who can tell me what happened. Clive, calm down. I have to know. Clive, Clive, breathe. Pet your dog. Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. Damn it! Oh He's like a bloody eel. <laughs> Slippery little bugger. What is this bugger. place anyway? Some sort of shrine? Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. This was where Joshua was supposed to... Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The Apollo Tree is holy ground. None but the Dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Mm. Where the hell did he go? Inside? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. <gasps> He'd need the power of the Phoenix. Oh. Oh, but you... Yeah. And that's one of the most aesthetic doors I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, the music. Why did it get all sci-fi in here? Can I pet my dog real quick? Hello? Have you ever seen anything like this? These are these are scaring me. Clive, no, it's a trap. Jill. <laughs> it wasn't Jill's fault. It was you. <laughs> oh my god. Jill. Jill, there's bugs in here. Oh, what do we do? The usual. Let's go, Jelly Bean. Stay away from my Jelly Bean. Space bugs. That's not a bug. Are you eating it? You devouring the corpses of your enemies. Very good. Very good boy. Yeah, can you imagine Joshua parkour in his way through this? <laughs> he flew through here though. He made it, kinda. Okay, Clive. Let's see how many of these things we can stand on. That didn't work. That didn't work either. I think maybe this is just for decoration. Maybe this is the right one. Oh, there we, <laughs> there we go! Huh? Uh -oh. oh, no going back, Jelly Bean. I don't like this. Oh! Feelings mutual. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Are you 
use everything. I used everything. DPS check time. <laughs> Jesus. Ugh. I sweat. It's done. What are these creatures? And why do they keep attacking us? We're going up. They're probably asking themselves the same thing. We're the ones trespassing here. They're just protecting their home. Jill, look. <gasps> oh! Oh, this was in the trailers. This thing. I have many questions in my brain hole right now. Is that some kind of... Mural. Uh, that's what I'd it's like to know, Jill. Enough. How old do you suppose this is? A thousand years? More? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. Ow, all oh, that hurt. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, yeah, same, same Clive. Owie. Owie. He's having a moment. Oh, <laughs> jump scare! Say, fellas. <laughs> you. You're him. It's the organization. The second dominant of fire. Who are you? Joshua chose me to be his shield. Oh, this is gave cool. me his blessing Stop. and asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. I'm sorry. I 
failed you. Joshua died. I killed him. And I blamed another for what I did. To spare myself the guilt. I feared the Bai. Accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran. From everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? I am. I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace. a lot. I need to... <laughs> I need to breathe for a second. so bad. This is intense. No escape, eh? Baby Clive. It's alright. I'm done running from you. To 
together, then... It's time to find out who we are. Once and for all. Stop smiling. That was so cool. Oh my god. I just played that. I just played I just witnessed with my eyeballs. Clive, are you all right? Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine. Jilly Bean, he needs a hug. Give him a hug. No more chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. We should go. Toggle, stop barking. I don't want to shut my window because it's too hot. Why am I have to? What the fuck? 
Clive, are you sure you're all right? <laughs> Whatever it is, you can tell me. He's looking at a brick, Jill. He's absolutely fine. I had a hard enough time telling myself. <clears throat> I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle. And I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire, who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground, was me, Ifrit. Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed, but not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? I need to know. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. We'll find your answers together. I want to learn the truth too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth, even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. Look at me, so. You're wrong. I have changed. She looked pained. But I don't that. want to be that person anymore. <sighs> the things she did were unforgivable. And yet, they're what brought us back together. Thank you, Jill. If he is here, then uh. the disturbance I felt at the care must have been <gasps> confounded. The hour is later than I thought. It's bedtime. <laughs> Roxas, it's not Roxas. <laughs> uh. <sighs> oh, he's full. Oh. Full. Oh. He must have found out. Tell uh, me who did this, or I'll see you suffer the same fate. Why the is man just who a small delivered box? Who, who delivered the coffer said he said Sid paid him. I let you run a mock. With the rest of your rats, and this is how you repay me? Uh, uh, find out where he is. Uh, uh, I'll crush him, flay him, rip out his heart, him, and all his filthy brood. And send every last one of them to Yes, my lord. I'm scared. Don't show me what's in the box, because I think I know. Please don't. Toggle, stop! <laughs> oh no! Fuck! 
they like put her in a bo- someone put her in a box that's bad he didn't think ahead I god oh no Toggle, what is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. I see fire. Uh... What happened here? Oh, 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 God. Imperials. You'll pay for this. Yeah. was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav. We want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. Mm -hmm. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. <laughs> All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. That sucks. <gasps> now, rats, lead me to your nest. Lord Kupka has a message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> I don't like him. Why did why did he come back? Why did he just disappear back behind the boxes? This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. <laughs> There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this... gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant. Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. Did you hear it's a path we all must walk. No matter how colourful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death 
that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, <laughs> with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Stop! I got goosebumps! What trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? Please. The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. Oh, holy shit. Or flam. Or flim. And the last of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but bore and bluster. If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Gentlemen. Did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. <laughs> it is our duty to claim new lands for them. When they babble to themselves, it sounds like they're keyboard smashing. You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. Oh, it is God. time we expanded our dominion. Ooh. This is the will of great Grieger. Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Ortha. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As Yon. you command. Damn. Show him to me. No! I, I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. <laughs> We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. 
How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mine from the mother crystals. <laughs> I guess. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this air fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well, I can't know everything, can I? <laughs> we are taught that the Mother Crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? The higher-ups? The gods themselves? So now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down, in order to build us a new one. What say you? Are you with me? I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. Promise. You could have just said I. <laughs> but it's nice to have you aboard all the same. They're making art together. They're making a sculpture. <laughs> no. Do you know, whenever I think of bananas, hang on. I think of this image. Is Hippocrates a gilf? I dot I can't believe I just read behind. that. Grandpa? No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. Well traveling in or out. I need to answer that question. I'm feeling kind of funny today. I'm just being like a funny little guy. My chair spins. Whee! Well, 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 someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. <laughs> Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. <laughs> eh? <laughs> <laughs> They're flirting. Well, I'm ready for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. No. Just Not the, the bestie squad being ripped apart. Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to... come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, primary an icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Mm. Well, he's still got the blessing of the phoenix, doesn't he? Not mm. to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. Excuse me? You two behave now. <laughs> <sighs> he ships it!
He ships it! <laughs> My best Clive impression. <clears throat> Do you want to know what happened to the tower? Because I don't know what happened to the tower. Goodbye. <laughs> The soldiers used to speak of a brothel, but that was north of the checkpoint. I heard the dame has friends in the south. <laughs> Let's speak to the dame. Fred! Welcome, good... Uh, back off, Branded. Uh! You see him with a customer. Are Give you... me one of those hams. I the biggest. You. Ooh, pretty dress. A moment, my lady. Oh. A moment. <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. <gasps> Branded. My mistake. It's <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> no, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a Branded about you. The flowers. Oh Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did, anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I, I, I can I trust you, well. can't yeah. I? Yes. You can trust me, yes, but... Yes. Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so... I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here I to the final voice. obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I seek Dion. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless. <laughs> Unless. I wish to see. <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Oh, God. Yes. That will do nicely. <gasps> but. He poked. She poked his boob I off. shall expect a favor in return. Wait. What? <laughs> oh, God. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she meant. <laughs> I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That's right. He'll be always strutting about like he owns the place. Yeah. The dame laughed when we offered her our protection. <laughs> you reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Empress finest? <laughs> <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being properly looked after oh and when you go crying to your mistress tell her it was leon who gave you the pounding <laughs> use all the dirty tricks you want branded <laughs> Shall we? Uh, uh, Not a bearer. Win the dame's favor anyway. 
<laughs> by knowing when to hold my tongue for a start. <laughs> Again. to win they never win what is this your father said you were being attacked you're not supposed to talk huh <laughs> uh. the wolf's work no doubt oh my god but it's not the wolf that's to blame this is dark ah yes this is what justice looks like you are the entertainment nothing more and we are most certainly not entertained <laughs> nor am i you'll pay for what you've done oh see i told you he talks too much that's <laughs> not right i don't like him father shut the you're up. not the branded i bought are you how dare you deceive me we didn't deceive well, you. the sins of the slave are the sins of the master go summon the unlucky wretch you answer to <laughs> that unlucky wretch would be me. I'm my own master. I'm beholden to no one. And I take orders from no one. <laughs> what lies? Do you think I cannot see that brand on your face? Brand? Shut your mouth and listen. Those bearers you killed, they were people. They felt fear and pain. Just as you do. Oh, you tell Unless him. you wish to share in their suffering, you would do well to remember we are not your playthings. <laughs> Father, you're scaring me. <laughs> How dare you threaten us? How dare you? How dare you? Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one? A better one? Of course, my son. He's gonna I'll try and buy Torgo. Fetch us another. No. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head. Clean off his shoulders! I'd like to see you try. Did you get a bigger dog? Oh. Big dog. Mother! Yeah! Good ending! Um, have you seen my Chloe? I let her out of her pen while I did my chores. But she hasn't come back yet. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? Have you lost your little baby? Describe her to me. Did you lose your baby? She's beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. And she likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big. But she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. It is my job to feed her. In that case, let's not keep her waiting. Oh. I actually did have a cat called Chloe. He's so wholesome. <laughs> it's like, oh, there's a little girl who's lost her cat. I'm you dropping everything. Fields. I'm going to help. I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded and an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's plaything. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. Filthy creature. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. Oh no, is it another wolf? Are we gonna have a the wolf? Windmill. A wolf incident part two. <gasps> Doggy! Chloe. Oh. God. Oh my <laughs> There's no way. No, there's no way. I just saw. More brown than white. You're not Chloe, are you, girl? This is gonna be so f No! <laughs> Someone napping on the job. 
I hope they don't mind the interruption. I hate this. <laughs> yeah, someone's napping on the job, Clive. Oh, uh, no. Oh, hey, Chloe. The crystal's curse. Uh... Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't <gasps> you hear me? What? Oh, my God. Get up now. You've slept long enough. It's time to go home. Uh, Chloe? Uh, well, why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloes had pretty hair. Uh, it could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? <gasps> a plaything. Get her ass, Clive. Do you really not care that she's dead? Get her the ass, she's Clive! She's dead. She's a rock. Oh, my God. That? The crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. You tell her, Clive. No. Don't, Break don't her little say heart. that. Yeah. Yeah. Good. You made her cry. Play things. Oh. I always feel like it's some cruel joke that you get like magic ash after after anything to do with like the cars and like the petrification. I'm, 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 I'm so sorry, Chloe. This is dog. <laughs> Not me thinking it was a cat. Any trouble on the way? None worth mentioning. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. <laughs> Which is why we'll be taking the back door. Oh, God. <laughs> Cheer up, you two. <laughs> Can't think of a safer place in the Empire than a... Really? Doesn't seem very private. <laughs> so then, love him. He's so cool. how do we proceed? <laughs> we'll be using the glass gate tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most, which is a start. <laughs> Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut. He knows a shortcut. And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by the helmet. Look at Jill! She's just like, how do I distract myself? Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the blight. If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is... If the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comfort? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. <laughs> ah, that'll do me. <laughs> you might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. <laughs> it means my deeds <laughs> will be remembered. Did you I'll see gladly her face? play the role of villain. Her side eye. But first, we have a gate to crash. <laughs> and once we're in, there'll be no turning back. Your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. <laughs> that was a good gut scene. That was funny. I like that. Okay, well, a pivotal moment in the story's about to happen. The game, I have been warned. So, good time to save. Oh, it's gorgeous.
There are not nearly enough men here. Then it's fortunate the city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. <laughs> this bodes well. <laughs> I'll be a first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. <laughs> yeah, but that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for perfect plans. You want a plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop mm. you growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? <laughs> Clive, my boy. Even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. <laughs> Something wrong? Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. <laughs> They're just right. besties. We'll for the mother crystal. And if the passage to the inner sanctum is guarded? Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. <laughs> oh, the size of my dump truck ass can't squeeze under these pillars. Oh, oh hi Jill, just ignore me. This man is built for stealth, right. wearing oh, all that leather, all that squeaky leather. Shut your gob and keep your eyes open. <laughs> Shut your gob. They're not gonna hear me squeaking around. They're not from the garrison. Oh, I swear. <laughs> no, Sid! It's mine! No! 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 It's mine! It's mine! It's mine! <laughs> what have we here? More insects come to be squashed? You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. I'm a bug. Why am I so bad at the game all of a sudden? Why won't you die? Left of him, but hatred and rage. Let's end his torment. Okay. Either I wasn't pay paying proper attention. So well, that's new. Get wrecked, ugly. Akashic or no, he was still a man. Akashic. A man who drowned in ether. Oh. It's no way for anyone to go. Come on. Akashic. God, mm. duty's a death sentence in this place. Not that Sylvester can. So did it tell me? Yeah, it does. Cool. The irreversible change brought about by a living being's overexposure to ether. Oh, it's really pretty though. The after effects of death. Oh god, don't break it. Why did it have to do that butt squat? Why? Doesn't look that far. No! Right. <laughs> oh no! You got this, King. I believe in you. You got this. Yeah. It's fine. <sighs> So agile, so graceful. Oh, yo. oh. <laughs> oh sh <laughs> He's making the sounds that Some like help. <laughs> Hold on. When your dad tries to get up off the chair, he's like <laughs> 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 I knew it would be big, but this... It's cool. Oh, look at the way she's looking there. at it all. That's our way into the inner sanctum. You'd think they'd have patched that up by now. The sorry state the Empire's in. Wait. 
You don't mean... Did you make that hole? Aye. My little game of hide-and-seek with Bahama ended here. Oh. A tragic cost to this remarkable <coughs> I'm scared. What? Where did that come from? <gasps> if I had to guess... Dragon! Poor beast. Another victim of the flood. Dragon! Well, if it's a fight he wants. Ready, Clive? Always. I can't see. I just see dragon ass. Oh, look at my face. Can I pull him down? I can! Oh! Come on! Do it! God. Yeah, same, Jill. Same. <laughs> same. Are you all right? Oh. Fine. The inner sanctum lies just beyond. Chances are the palace guard knows we're here. We should move. Not that any sane commander would send his men into a place awash with this much ether. Clive. Stop. If this all works and the blessing fades, things are likely to get worse for our kind before they get better. I don't like Being this. the last to wield ether will make our talents that much more sought after. By which I mean hunted. I just hope in the end they'll see that we didn't have any other choice. That it was the only way to get us to a better place. And here I was thinking I was the uncertain one. Luckily, two out of three of us have faith in you. Why are you not counting Torgal? Time to earn that menacing title. Sid the Vicious, was it? <coughs> wow. Sid the Delicious, more like, because you're so slow. Beautiful. The heart of Sambrek. Well, that didn't work. I think we're going to need a bigger sword. Mine's bigger. Thank you, Clive, but I meant that figuratively. The core's clearly made of sterner stuff. <laughs> Zarya's going to have a fix when she hears about this. Oh, God. Stand back. It's about to get cramped in here. No, you don't do anything, sir. Your arm is turning to a stone. You're not allowed. It's illegal. Stop. <laughs> Please, uh, that's more like it. <laughs> His theme. That was really cool. Clive, look. What is that? Sid! Need a 
Freed. Come to me. I can't do this without you. I've been here before. Typhoon? Yes, this happened quite a year ago. Will we? You. You again. Where are you? What do you want? Fuck. He's still alive. Isn't yours. Oh.
is fire. Am I? Uh, do I have my health back now? Please. Embodying Ifrit again. I sure did, but the thing is, I didn't, because he doesn't have an ass. <laughs> Why did it make him look so small when it seemed to- <laughs> Enjoy your nap. You okay? You're wounded. Oh. This, it's only a scratch. All right, the oh. hole. We'll, we'll find you a healer. Here. Yeah. No, you won't. Again. Why does he have buttholes for eyes? <laughs> no, no, I can't do this. <laughs> One left. I'll do me. No. I better not be doing what I think they're doing. I can't handle this. Try 
not to talk. I'm playing a song. Bestie squad. Clive. Bestie squad. For so long, I thought I had all the answers. But then I met you. And I learned it wasn't a good death we should be fighting for, but a better life. It's all very well, a man reclaiming his fate. But if he can't choose how he beats it, what's the point? So, I made a choice. Ashen grip, let <gasps> ember glow to kindle flames anew. much about you and your ambitions. I know that it was you who tore me from my brother. And I know that it is his power that you seek. But know this. If you want him, you'll have to go through me. There you are. Breath of mine ancestors. Fill these lungs that I may dispel the songs of suffering. A disturbance. It's 
getting us nowhere. Get his ass. We agree. No more games, Phoenix. We are going to claim our vessel. And I said no. is a fleeting form. I'm not fool enough to think I can harm you. But to protect my brother, I don't have to. These are not flames of destruction. Have you forgotten already who I am? Reminds me of 13. Wow. I am in distress. I am. Oh! I'm in financial distress. Oh my god. Oh. We must be here. Must! Again! Oh. Find shit! We're all fucking dead! Oh my god, please don't die again. Help us! Where is he? Oh. Ah. You'll do! Ah. It is not among the dead. Shall I send a Stolas? That won't be necessary. Oh, shit. Why did everything just go tits off? Ew. 
I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the lot. Curatives, restoratives. I'm going to Do you have any tissues? This very morning. Oh, baby. Might I interest you in a potion, milady? Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road? Oh, I'm sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives. Oh, unguents, ointments, poultices. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives. It's kind of catchy. Yeah. Five years? It's been five years? I can't it's get over this. Good to see you, Sid. In five minutes. What have we learned? Oh my god, he's hot. Wow. The bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And I hardly need tell you wow. who is there to make sure they stay that way. Wow. Kuka's private guard. I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer. That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. Damn it all. You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. Good. Please, we don't know anything. Oh you have to believe us. We'd help going. you if we could. But you're helping us already. <laughs> no sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. <laughs> <laughs> My reaction to Clive as well. It's going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? It's him. The outlaw. Sit here. Our friends are dead because of you. Do you hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole. All because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. We're all mugged now. <laughs> ah! <sighs> For five years, we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. 
I'm sorry. Just leave us be. This is our home, and this is where we'll stay. She's angry. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. She's angry with us. They'll come round. If you say so. Ooh. Forehead kiss. Wouldn't make it better. We should go. Or a pal in the back. That works too. Yet again, God, I've seen what you've done for fictional characters. Please. That night five years ago, we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope. For a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow, they see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free. Free to choose our own path. I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> I miss him too! A world <laughs> where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want. And that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds. Home sweet home. <laughs> That's an airship. What does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march. Leaving Randalar in Hugo Kuka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance, the one we've been waiting for. But look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. Mm. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. did. It was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out. 
to Ultima. <laughs> if Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. To a world without Mother Crystals. To Sid. So the north is lost. The dog keeps barking. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this, God. this is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. He's had Ultima inside the him. The world marches ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother, are our efforts in vain? 